Hey folks, welcome to the Rate Update with Dan Frio. Today is November 17th. Usually on Tuesdays I do a rate comparison. Today I wanna to show you, and this, this just stood out like a sore thumb. I'm working with a client right now, and we're able to save them. It was like $100,000 in interest over the term of the loan. So I wanna show everybody how by refinancing with today's rates, you might be able to do that too. So don't go away, I'll be right back. Every day you're overwhelmed with all this data coming at you on the internet, on the TV, on the radio. Refinance, rates are low, refinance, rates are low, so forth. You're probably freaking out over what's going on, you know, what your tomorrow's going to bring. Um, so many times you stick your head in the sand, I know I do, and you're just like, you know what, I'm just going to wait for everything to pass me by and then I'll bring my head back up and then I'll figure out life at that point. I get it. I do the same thing. But what I'd like to do to you, or show you today is just how much you could possibly save by refinancing. So you see, again, you hear all this data is, this rate is fantastic and this rate, what's it really doing for you? Does it help you? Would it help you? Um, so what I wanted to do today is I wanna show you by using tools all over the internet. Now I'm, I'm just pulling data from different uh, websites to show you how, how you can find out exactly how much you could save. If you'd like to reach out to me, I'd, like, I'd be more than happy to help you. But here's what I'm looking to do. Rates are low, but I wanted to show you facts and I'm gonna scan around the web and find out different tools that we can use to see how much exactly you can save. So let's get on to it. So many, most people that follow me on a daily basis, I, I post uh, YouTube every day telling people, you know, what, what happened today with the markets? for the, the bond markets in relations to mortgage rates. And a lot of realtors, financial planners, consumers, mortgage people, they follow me on that. I have over 10,000 subscribers. And they follow on a daily basis. And we go over these charts and all kind of things of where rates you know, are today and where they're heading. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to say, okay, if you bought your house, say, a year or two ago, would it make sense to refinance? So that is what we're looking to find the answer to. All right, so the first thing is I wanna find out what the rate would have been back in, let's say, 2018. So I go through all my charts and I, go, I pull up my data and I go, you know, how far back can I go? And I really can't go back that far. So I found on a website, Freddie Mac has a website and you might've heard of Freddie Mac. There's Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae. They do almost all the mortgages in the whole country. So a reliable source. What are mortgage rates over the last, let's say in 2018? That's what we're gonna focus on right now. In 2018, this was what the rate was through Freddie Mac on a conventional loan. The average rate was 4.54%. Okay, so let's write that down, 4.54%, all right? The next thing is our average purchase price of a home is $300,000. Most clients put down 5%. So if you do that, your mortgage amount at that time would be $285,000. So I plug that in here and you can go to calculator.net. You can find this there, free website. I put in a 30-year term and I put in the rate at 4.54%. Okay, so that's what I got there. And then I come down here and say, okay, what would, what would my balance be after, you know, let's say a year and a half, two years? So let's go back in here and let's just make it simple. We're gonna go between this 275 and 281 or whatever. I'm gonna use a $280,000 loan balance, remaining balance, okay? So now we have a 200, I owe, still owe 280,000. Uh, my rate, again, we found out that my rate is most likely, and you can find, pull your mortgage, uh, payment coupon and it'll say on right on there. But if you closed in 2018, you're right in here. So your rate was be 4.54%. Okay. So I then find another website and I say, okay, cool. How can I figure out if this makes sense for me? Well, if I do, if I put in this information, it gives me a 285,000 was my original loan balance back in 2018 on a 30 year fixed rate at 4.54%. That's, this is, I put in that data, your current loan. And then my new loan, our current rate today is 2.875. It's gonna cost you, I'm, I'm throwing this out there, that's, this is on the high, high ball, 
side. This is on the high side. $2,850, okay? And then you, you plug in this data, and let me just say, let's say it's 2,500 bucks. So you can see down below their numbers will change. You can probably see it down here. You'll see these numbers change right in here as I move this. So $2,500, you probably saw that change. Okay, how much would I save? All right, so it's selling me right here. My break even point is six months. But I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stay in the house and you watch this, watch this right here change. Total savings. So you can manipulate this thing, not manipulate, you can, you can move around and say, okay, if I'm there, I'm in my house for five years, I'm only gonna stay there five years, would it make sense? Over five years, you're still gonna save $15,000. That's what 10 years puts us at, 33,000. Hmm. You know what, Dan, this is my house that I'm gonna be in for a long time. I don't plan on moving, I got my kids, it's plenty of room. How much would I save over, let's say 15 or 20 years? Over 20 years. $72,000 in interest. Just for kicks, if we went out to the whole duration term, you can see total savings, $113,000 by going from 4.54% to 2.875. Phenomenal numbers. So does it make sense to refinance? Well, especially if you bought in 2018, you betcha. So if you'd like to find out more or reach out to us to see if we could put together uh, some numbers on how much you would save, just go to my website, therateupdate.com. You can scroll down. Right here is an 800 number. You can reach us, 844-775-LOAN. You can scroll here, see a short video of me and my team in action at our office. It's a pretty cool video. Or you can just go up here and any of these tools are basically gonna take you to an application. You can hit apply now, um, refinance rate checker, and a free quote. A cool tool that we just implemented just last week was a free home valuation system. This is the top online home valuation system on the web. There is a charge for it. I'm covering the charge. It's free to you guys to use. So I'd highly recommend that you use that. So. That being said, so that's it for now. God bless. If we could be of any help, please reach out to us. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe down below. Check out our YouTube video, and you can see I post, I probably have over 600 videos on there that probably answers even more questions that you might have. So thanks a lot. Take care.